Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a full face review of Chanel makeup. I had some Ulta points and I really wanted to try Chanel makeup again. I actually tried a, quite a few of their products about 10 years ago, but it has been a while. The only thing, this lipstick has been in my collection for a few years, but everything else I got fairly recently. I've already tested it out. So I've got an eyeshadow quad, the cream bronzer, a foundation and a cream blush stick. So yeah, I'm gonna give you my thoughts and let's get started. As I mentioned, I tried quite a bit of Chanel makeup all about 10 years ago, so quite a while. I just, I wanted to try it again. I don't know, I got curious. So I bought one of the eyeshadow quads. This one is called 362 Candeur et Provocation. I actually studied French for a long time, so my French should be better, but this is it here. We've got burgundies, a brown, a pink shade. So yeah, this is $62. Yeah, very expensive for four little eyeshadows. I already have on the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm gonna just start with this brown shade. Now I've tried this quad and I like it, I do. But $62? for these eyeshadows when nowadays you can get so many different great eyeshadows at a lot of different prices. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is definitely the least exciting, but I still, I knew that because I tried Chanel eyeshadows in the past and nothing's changed from what I can tell. They're good, they're fine. They're not blowing me away, that's for sure. They're definitely on the subtle side, which I mean, I do think in general that is like the style of Chanel makeup. It's not super metallic, sparkly, you know, that's just not what they're going for. So, you know, I get it. Um, let's go with this shade in the outer corner. Yeah, I, I think for the aesthetic of the brand, what they're going for, you know, I think this makes sense. The eyeshadows are fine. They blend nicely, but I'm just not like wowed, blown away. These are the best eyeshadows ever, <laughs> but I do think it's nice. I do find that they blend very easily. And I do like the color story of this quad, but yeah, I had all the points. So I still, I had quite a few all the points, but I think I still ended up paying $75 for this order, but I would not have bought all this stuff if I didn't have the all the points. Like, let me just make that clear right now. <laughs> um, so this, Lighter pink, I'm gonna use that. And their shimmers are, they're definitely on the subtle side, which again, goes with the aesthetic of the brand. It's just, wouldn't really make sense to have Chanel makeup having like super sparkly, intense foiled metallics. That's just obviously not what they're going for. So I get that, and I do like this burgundy color story. Now I'm going with this shade here. So I like the color story of this quad. Would I recommend it for $62? I mean, if you've got the money and you like subtle eyeshadow and you want Chanel makeup, then yeah, for sure. It's not bad, but if you're just looking for some good eyeshadow and you don't really care about the brand or anything like that, there are way better options out there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put a bit more of that burgundy shade out here. Nice color story though, for sure, but I definitely have this in other palettes, so. But it's definitely good, I mean, especially for 
I mean, someone like me who works in an office and I don't really want to wear like the most sparkly makeup to work, although I do sometimes, but I think this is good for in like someone who's in a professional field where, you know, you wouldn't really want to wear blue eyeshadow to work. I would, but I guess I don't, um, you know, or you're just not into the super intense eye looks. I think this is nice. So I'm going to say the quad is nice. Obviously the packaging is beautiful. You do get these sponge tip applicators, which I haven't used yet, but honestly, I used to use sponge tips all the time. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So yeah, let's get into the rest of the makeup and I'll actually, I'll show you swatches of this later. Let's talk about the foundation that I got and I bought the Le Beige foundation. And I've heard really good things about this one, so this is the one that I wanted to try. It has this pretty top, which I do like that, it has a pump. And I got the shade BD21, which I think is a really good match for me. It's a bit light right now because I do have a tan, but I figure my tan isn't gonna last forever, so I decided to go with like my true match. Um, and I am wearing the Rare Beauty Pore Primer already. I have pretty regular skin these days. Um, sometimes it's more combo, leaning oily, occasionally it's more dry, lately it's just been pretty normal actually. Um, there is a fragrance to this, it has a floral scent, it goes away pretty quickly, but I remember that scent from other Chanel makeup I had in the past. There was a Chanel foundation many years ago that I used to love. Um, it was the Chanel Perfection Lumiere. It was really nice, great lasting power and worked well for me, but they discontinued that one. And they do have other foundations now. I do feel like the Chanel line, there's some things that kind of change a lot, like their foundations is one that they do kind of change up the ones they have. Um, but I thought Perfection Lumiere was really nice, but they don't make that one anymore. This is $60 now, which honestly, I have a lot of high-end foundations. I don't know, to me $60 isn't that crazy of a price for foundation compared to $62 for that eyeshadow quad. Yeah, no, definitely wouldn't have bought the eyeshadow quad if it wasn't for the Ulta points, but I mean, I have plenty of foundations that cost $50, so I guess to me, it's not that crazy, and I really do like the foundation. I think it has a nice finish. I do have hyperpigmentation. You can see it's not fully covering it up. I could put more on, but I'm not that worried about it. I'm gonna put on the Too Faced concealer. Um, I think that the foundation has great lasting power. It looks nice. I actually really have enjoyed the foundation. It's definitely one of the things here that I would definitely consider repurchasing. So I'm gonna blend out this concealer. I should probably be using a mirror to see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm really excited about the next two things because I love cream products. This is their cream bronzer, which is $50. It is, it's, they changed the name of this. It's now called the Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. And this is the lighter shade 390 Soleil Tan Bronze. They have a darker one now, which they should have done that a long time ago. I think that Chanel has been late to expanding their shade ranges, but about time. And the reason I wanted to repurchase this is that one of my favorite YouTubers, Kelsey Brianna J, when the darker one came out, she did review it. And I was like, okay, that looks nice. Cause she really does like this product and she likes a lot of Chanel makeup and she's someone who I really trust her reviews. So that's why I really wanted to try Chanel makeup again. So yeah. So Kelsey did review this in the darker shade for anyone that's interested. Check her out. She's awesome. And yeah, I have been enjoying this. Now I bought this product quite a while ago and I did like it at that time. I since decluttered it because it was a cream bronzer and you know, 
they only last for so long, but I did enjoy it. And people have said that it's been reformulated since that time when I originally bought this. Um, I still like this formula. I haven't had issues with it, but I know some people have said they don't like this new formula. I don't know. I can't really tell a difference, honestly, but when I had the original one, that was so long ago. I mean, seriously, 10 years ago, I can't remember. I just remember that I liked it, but I just use a brush like this. By the way, this brush is amazing. This is from the AOA Studio from the Shop Miss A website. It's the High Def Brush F7 for cream, blush, and bronzer. This is amazing. So I really like it. It just, like I barely tap this in and it just blends. So personally, this is, again, to me for a cream bronzer, that's like, you get a decent amount of product, 30 grams, one ounce. I don't think the price on this is as ridiculous as I do the, the eyeshadow quad. So, Again, this is a win for me. I actually really enjoy this. It blends out easily. I like this shade. It does have this little lid, which I would recommend keeping because it is a cream product. Again, nice packaging. For $50, I actually think this is okay. I've wanted to try their cream blush for so long. I love a cream blush so much. This is... This I think is pretty pricey for a cream blush. I have a lot of cream blushes in my collection. And I feel like the high-end ones are usually like $25 to $30. Well, Chanel's is $45. Again, wouldn't have bought this one without the Ulta points, but I have been enjoying it. So this is the Le Beige Blush number 20. They do have other shades. I bought number 20, which is a neutral. As you can see, I have foundation on it because I've been using it. I just draw it on like this. This is kind of a subtle color, so kind of have to like really build this up. I like an intense blush look, so for me, you know, I want to put a decent amount on, but I've been enjoying this as well. I think this is really nice. I kind of, I like this color. It's very, it's a neutral, but it has this glow to it. It's actually really, really nice. And again, I'm just using that same brush to blend this out. I like it. It's a nice glow. Personally, one of my favorite things actually that I bought from this line. So yeah. All right, the only thing I have left to talk about is the lipstick. So I'm just gonna put on some powder, do my brows, mascara, and I'll be back. Here's the final look, and I do enjoy it. I mean, I think it is a nice look. The lipstick that I have is the Rouge Coco line. Now, they have a ton of lipstick lines. They also have the Rouge Coco Balm and then another one. So this is just Rouge Coco. This one they don't sell at Ulta or other places. The only place I could find this is Macy's and the Chanel website. And this is something I've had for several years. My husband bought me this for Christmas like four years ago. And I know that he bought it at Macy's. And this is the shade Rusi 426. And it is a beautiful pink. And you can see on the lips, I don't think it looks quite as intense as it does in the swatch, but I think, so I've had this for a while. I mean, I've used it some. I should probably have used it more considering I've had it for four years, but I think bullet lipsticks last a long time because you can like sanitize them and stuff. This formula, this is all I'm wearing. I'm not wearing lip liner or gloss or anything. I do like this formula. It has a bit of shine, um, but not a ton of shine. It's just really comfortable on the lips. So I actually really enjoy this lipstick line. These are now $42 and they have definitely raised their prices a lot because I'm pretty sure when my husband bought this for me, I want to say it was like $36 or $38, which is still a lot, but now $42. So I've been curious to try more colors of this or one of their other lipstick lines, 
but yeah, $42 for a lipstick. It's a lot when you can buy a great $5 lipstick at the drugstore. But again, this was a gift and I do think it is nice and I actually really like this shade and formula. The eyeshadow quad, I just put these two darker shades on the lower lash line. Let me give you swatches. Let's see here. So I do think the quad is nice. I just think that you know, for someone like me who owns a ton of eyeshadows, I've got a really big eyeshadow palette collection. I often go for bolder looks than this, but I do think this is a nice look. And the shadows blend very, very easily. Um, here are the four colors. As you can see, some of them, these are all kind of satiny, have a bit of a shimmer. This one is a matte but none of them are super shimmery by any means. Um, so they're pretty much satins and mattes, but they blend super easily, you know, very easy to use, very quick eye look. I do enjoy it, I do. I just think, you know, $62 is a lot when you can buy amazing eyeshadows from BH Cosmetics for like a fraction of the cost and get more colors. The foundation, the Le Beige. I think this is nice. I actually do like it. I don't even think $60 is that exorbitant of a price considering I've tried many other high-end foundations. I think it looks nice. Pretty good medium coverage. I could have built this up more. I just didn't feel like it. It has good lasting power. I've worn this all day and I think that this is nice. So it says that it's supposed to be healthy glow foundation with hydration and long wear and it doesn't get cakey throughout the day. So I actually think this is maintaining the claims that it has. So personally, I really like the foundation. I think it's great. Also, this color BD21 is like a perfect shade match for me. And the cream bronzer, I gotta say, I do enjoy this. Um, I actually, I didn't end up adding any powder bronzer at all. I think this looks really nice. This also does last well throughout the day. This isn't super dewy or anything like that. Um, yeah, you get a lot of product in here. So I'm gonna actually say this is a win also. As I mentioned, I tried this before many years ago. It has since been reformulated. I can barely remember what the other one was like, but I'm enjoying this. And then the cream blush. I think this is like, I'm gonna say price-wise, like these three, I'm like, it's a lot for what they are. But I do like this cream blush. Um, let me give you a swatch of it. Yeah, so it's a very like neutral color, but it has a glow. I added the tiniest bit of powder blush, the Hourglass and Brilliant Nude. Just cause yeah, my skin is a little bit on the combo side. So I do like to set cream blush just a tiny bit, but this shade, it's really pretty and it does add a bit of glow and it's very easy to use, swipe it on. I mean, $45 for a cream blush when nowadays you can get an amazing cream blush for a lot less, but this is actually one of my favorite things in here. I really do like it. So yeah. These are the items. I like the look. Actually, the lipstick goes really well with these eye colors. And I thought it was fun to try Chanel makeup again because it's been so long. But yeah, I wouldn't have bought some of this stuff if it wasn't for the Ulta points. Let's get real. But yeah, I think my favorites, definitely the foundation, the cream bronzer, and the cream blush. So let us know about other Chanel makeup that you have tried. One thing from them I've always wanted to try is their nail polish. I've never tried their nail polish. It's obviously very expensive, but I'm very into nail polish. So yeah, that is it for this video, and the other products will be linked in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.